Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for a few days back. I created the community post for the releasing the new video for the official build of your version X for the one plus six. But this time flashing process is changed for the retrofit builds of the new version X. So I decided to review the unofficial build of rise dot eight for the one plus six by the developer Veritas. Yes, the developer Veritas is creating the unofficial builds of already available official builds of one plus six. We already tried the Evolution X7.2 unofficial build by the same developer few days back. So today is the time for the flashing this newest build of Rise.8.0 ahead of the launch of official builds. Flashing is same like the old build like download the ROM zip file, GApps are inbuilt in the ROM, remove the password and boot your device into the recovery. First flash the ROM zip file, then tap advanced, tap install current TWRP, now tap format and wipe your data. If you guessed error, then go to the home screen of the TWP, then go to the settings and check mark the RMRF setting and again go to the wipe and format data. This time you guessed the successful formatting, now reboot back to the TWP and once again format data and reboot to the system. So today in this video we will see what is the difference between the official and unofficial build of RiseDroid, how its performance, what's new has been added in the new version of Rise.8.0 and my final verdict do you need to flash these unofficial builds or not now without wasting any time let's get started a new adventure If you are coming from any other custom ROM or even you are on the unofficial build of Rise Droid, still do the clean flash of the ROM while flashing. So phone booted to the new boot animation of Rise Droid, which looks simple and elegant. Do the complete setup of the phone. So phone booted to the stock sushi launcher with the new wallpaper. Let's check out the about phone. As this is the hub of customization, stock setting looks completely different and the about phone tab will be seen at the top of the setting. In the about phone you can check this ROM is based on the lineage OS ROM so if you repeatedly tap on the rise droid version who gets the lineage OS sister egg. In the version tab we can see this build is the unofficial build maintained by the Veritos. This is the android 13 build with the same old android 13 easter egg. Security patch is now upgraded to the latest November 2022. Rise droid version is Lomi 8.0 with the gapps. Build date of ROM is 9th November 2022. Kernel is created by developer himself. Its version is 4.9.227. So the main difference between the official and unofficial build is that the official build comes with the Primus kernel and the Optimus Prime is the official maintainer of the ROM. At the end of the video I will tell you the major drawback of the unofficial build. So watch the video until the end. Now first we will see the performance difference between the official and unofficial rise droid. This unofficial build has the good performance in the day to day uses. Everything is smooth, so apps opening, switching between the application, scrolling is very smooth. But sometimes I felt some jitters but they are not deal breaking. After running the Geekbench for the single core I got the score of 492 and the 1955. If you are comparing these results with the old rise droid 6.0 there we got 488 and 1911. So the results are slightly higher in this unofficial build. But as you are comparing the build with the very old official Rise.6.0, that's why these results may be lower. As soon as you guess the official Rise.8.0, I will compare the official one with the unofficial build. For the OpenJ drivers, I got the score of double to double seven. These scores are nearly similar to the official Rise Droid. On the Hulkan Graphics API score is 2016. While for the old rise droid build results is 1925. For the Vulcan graphics API we have seen some improvement in the scores here. But overall there is a negligible difference between the official and unofficial build. Everything is working in this unofficial build. All the basic things like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC all the things are working. But the most important thing like the safety net is also passing here. So you can use the banking and security related applications without the issue. The only common thing that all the ROMs are missing wide one is on L3 so you can't use the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Data store is encrypted on this build so no worry about the data even after device got lost. Now let's check out the additional feature that you get in this unofficial build as compared to the official build. ROM has the fully working Oxygenus camera, it has the working nightscape mode portrait for the front and the main camera, slow motion and timeless for the video recording both are working. Pro mode, panorama mode, all the things are working, even the 4K SysTFS is also working in the video recording. The only problem I found using this camera is user interface is a bit slower while using this camera. 
except this rom comes with the lineage of aperture camera it's a basic camera application but its clarity is more as compared to the oxonos camera next big thing in the rom is now comes with the face unlock actually this will be also available in the official build once it will be released but still adding the face in the setting needs more light and the precise detection once added the face unlock works flawlessly but it's not fast like as you seen that in the android 12 builds If you check the customization in this ROM, the ROM is fully customizable. For the detailed customization, you can check the right side icon video. There are some additional features also got added in the new personalization tab of the setting. You can later go through the all these settings. Like OnePlus setting of the official Rise Droid here, developer added the device extra tab, which has the alert slider customizations, ambient display gestures. KKL display color control DC dimming high brightness mode FS overlay setting system vibration strength control so overall in terms of the customization both the official and unofficial builds are the same you will get all the features here instead of some changes and the system stability improvement there is nothing new in this build of rise.8.0 so what are the bugs and the issues as usual okay google or the hey google activation still not working for me and if you kept enable this tab you will get the lag in the videos or the audio playbacks this issue is the device specific issue and faced by majority of users you can use the root method to overcome this issue given in icard another bug is the nfc is working but after some time toggle gets automatically turns off another drawback of unofficial build is that you didn't get the ot update in the setting So every time you get the new update you need to manually download the OT and flash it what TWRP recovery except the things we didn't found any other major issues in the rom it's a daily drivable build so what is my final verdict about the official and unofficial build it's always recommended to use the official build by the optimus prime but if you are desperately needs fully working stock oxynos camera oxynos gallery and some additional performance with the sacrifice of OT updates then you can definitely use this build There is no major difference between the official and unofficial build. Instead, we are getting the more additional features here. So that is for today, guys. If you think I helped you through this video, then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye bye.